Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a bonus love reading for my dearest Virgos, just as a thank you for showing my channel consistently so much love and support. It truly, truly means the world to me. Um, so this is going to be a singles new love reading from my Virgos to see who's coming towards you in love. So let's go ahead and see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Virgos, please. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Virgos, please. All right, the person coming towards you, Eight of Pentacles. What else we need to know about them? The Two of Pentacles. I do see someone here looking for Ten of Pentacles or possibly a marriage partner or life partner coming your way. What they like about you, Virgo, the Page of Cups. So they see you as very sweet. Um, they also see you as a miracle or a blessing. So someone that they've been hoping for. Um, and what else we need to know? The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So strong message here, Virgos, either for you or for them, ending something so that this can, this can come together. And we have the emperor. So a lot of you, you might be deal dealing with an Aries, or this could just be confirmation. This is a life partner, a divine counterpart, uh, divine masculine energy coming through really strong. I love that. Somebody who's decisive, they're strategic, they're powerful. Most likely they get a lot of attention. Um, this person definitely is strategic. Um, I also feel too, this person is not boring it by any means. They're going to be different than your usual type or your usual expectations here. Um, yeah, so just get ready. They could be, it could be that they come from a different background, race, religion, tradition, socioeconomic background, or they're just different from the type of person that you've been dating or you've been dealing with here in the past. You know, I love this for you, Virgo, because it feels like it's a game changer. Now, for some of you, there could be other involvements here. Um, now, it might indicate that this person has been hurt or heartbroken in love, so they could be a widow or a widower, or they've just experienced, you know, some, some very difficult endings here when it comes to love. But more so, you know, I feel like, too, we're also getting heartbreaker energy off of this person. Um, so I do feel like this person's definitely a heartbreaker. And, and like I said, there could be other involvements when you two meet. Um, which I know is not ideal, but I am getting a very strong energy, Virgo, of like love at first sight. Ooh, yeah. And we've got the devil energy. This person is very sexy, very powerful. Um, you know, this person might end something to be with you, Virgo, or vice versa. Okay, because this feels like there's this undeniable attraction and pull between you and this person and the nine of pentacles. Okay. So this is my single, you know, my single person card. Those of you who have been following me for a while know that she's one of my favorite cards. Um, she is, um, you know, she's independent. She's self-made. She's got everything she needs. She's alone, but she's not lonely. So that may be confirmation for some of you that maybe this person is single, but there might be other people around them. Like they might break someone's heart to be with you if they have people that are, you know, after them, people that are trying to get with them. Um, but I love this because this to me tells me that between you and this person, there's a healthy, balanced connection. Yeah, this person is solid. They're dependable. They're predictable. For some of you, they're solid in stature as well, like somebody quite strong, works out a lot, muscular. Okay, they could be a Libra or have Libra in their chart. All right, so fairness and harmony is important to them. So even if they are a heartbreaker, I don't feel like this person's a jerk about it. Okay, or they're, you know, they're not in, a, in an overwhelmingly arrogant energy. Okay, and we have strong earth. All right, so they may be earthy, they may be Capricorn energy, and they're also going to be very passionate. So there's never a dull moment with this type of person. Um, they could be an exciting lover. I feel this is a beautiful, beautiful match for you, Virgo. So what else we need to know about this person? Um, this person, two of pentacles, again, this person may have other involvements and they may be letting go of someone here. Um, but again, it doesn't mean, I don't think they're in like a committed relationship. That's not the energy that I'm getting. Um, 
but they may be, you know, they may have other involvement. So I'm going to stop repeating myself there because <laughs> it keeps coming through. All right. You would be shocked. So this person is definitely going to take you by surprise. Again, they're different from your usual type and expectations. Um, and let's see, we have, they could be Latin. Okay. Very nice. I'm definitely getting Latin lover vibes, but you know, that's only for some of you. For some of you, they may have studied Latin. I am getting for some of you, they could be in the medical field. All right. And this person loves music. Beautiful. All right. And for some of you, this person may have curly hair. So again, physical attributes, I always say, um, are going to be confirmation for some of you, but they're not going to resonate with each and every one of you. All right. And let's see how else my Virgos will identify this person. How else will my Virgos identify this person, please? All right. They may wear jewelry, wear rings. I'm also, you know, I'm seeing like a handmade ring. So it could be like a friend or maybe, you know, um, they, they have like, they have some, a very nice handmade ring. It's going to be quite like unique is what I'm getting. This can also indicate somebody who's been married before. And they like to wear the color red. That's that Aries energy. So they could have Aries and Scorpio in their chart. But I'm also seeing too, they've got, they may be wearing red, like a red shirt or red accessory hat, shoes, something like that. Um, and they may have an odd numbered birth year, confirmation for some of you. And they may have lighter skin. All right, Virgos. For some of you, they have a severe allergy. I'm getting to shellfish. That came through very strong. Okay. Um, all right. What else do my Virgos need to know about this person? How else will my Virgos be able to identify this new person coming their way? I'm definitely seeing 10 of pentacles potential. So building a legacy, you know, being life partners, being, you know, building something strong and stable here. Um, okay. So we get their initials, Virgo, D H A P T V N K. Nice. All right. And their average height, although for some of you, they might be tall is kind of what I'm getting. Average to tall is what I'm seeing. And this person is educated. So they're articulate. They're well-rounded. They may have a college degree. Yeah, I was definitely getting that they're a solid build. Okay, that's confirmation there. So most likely it doesn't mean that they have a beer belly or they're husky or anything like that. But it, it, to me, it feels like this person's solid. I do feel like they work out or they're just, they're physically quite strong. Okay, what they like about my Virgos here, um, page of cups, like you're a dream come true. You can see, you know, pigs are flying. Um, you know, they're gonna, it, these are pinch me vibes. So you are what they've been looking for. Um, you, you know, they may have felt like maybe they weren't ever going to meet the right person. Um, so let's see, clear messages, advice, and guidance. Okay. Yep. 1111. You two definitely have this soulmate, possibly twin flame connection here, but they're seeing you as solid. They're seeing you as stable. They're seeing you as somebody they want to build with. Um, if you're a single parent, that's not going to bother them. Okay. At, at all. It's not going to be a deterrent. And the Ten of Wands. See, this person wants to share the burdens of life with you. And for a lot of my Virgos, this person wants to care for and protect you. And they want to help you with some of those daily burdens. Like this person wants, they want to be there for you. They want, they're solid. They want to be your rock. They want to be your anchor. And that's something they're going to see early on. There's something in your character that makes them, and it's not weakness. There's something about your character that makes them want to protect you. Cause it's like, you've probably been, you know, bearing, bearing a lot of burdens on your own and you're quite independent and, and they see you as strong and it's like, they want to come in and help you. They want to come in and share with you. And at the bottom of the deck, we get the Ace of Wands. There's going to be a very, very strong physical connection here for my Virgos. Very strong, very passionate. This is a new energy for sure. A new energy. I love this. Um, all right. Let's see what else that they love about my Virgos. What else is this person loving about my Virgos or really going to love about my Virgos? Yeah. So I do see that it's, there, there are, they might recognize that you have other options as well. Like you're definitely a hot commodity. Um, they're not going to see you as somebody easy to get with. Um, but I also feel like, you know, I feel like they have a lot of op options, but none of them are good enough. And, and I feel like this, this path is leading straight to you. 
So it's like, I, th I feel they're going to just see that with you. They're going to see stability with you. They're going to see this compatibility and action. Look at that. We have a black horse and a white horse, which to me is soulmate energy, yin yang. We see it on the chariot card. Um, so it's like, they definitely, they like that you're action oriented, but this person is going to enjoy chasing you, Virgo. Okay. This is definitely somebody who enjoys a little bit of that, you know, the thrill of the chase here, but it's like, you're not going to be very easy to win over. And they know that, and they actually like that about you. They also like that you're a doer, that you're action oriented and that this person feels like they can run with you. All right. And you can run with them. And at the bottom of the deck here, we have yin yang. So we get lots of confirmation here. This is a powerful, powerful connection, a powerful connection where you complement each other very well. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful Virgos. Uh, this, this makes me so happy for you. All right. So let's see, clear messages, advice, and guidance. So it does look like, you know, for some of you, there might be something ending. Again, this person might be putting an end to the single life. Um, to, to bring this connection into balance. Again, what, what's, what you're looking for is looking for you, Virgo. And I feel this person feels that way about you, about meeting you. And so for a lot of you, we get new love. It's a new cycle in love. It's a confirmation here. This is a brand new person. For some of you, it's a recommitment, but I really, really don't get that. I really get for a lot of you that you know, this, and if there is some sort of familiarity about this person, it's most likely coming from a past life connection. Don't dismiss the red flags. Um, what I am getting here, they could have people like in their past that don't want to let them go, but I don't feel like it's this person stringing them along because I do get with this three of swords, they, they're a heartbreaker. So I do feel like there's a little bit of a warning there that there might be other involvements or there might be people that are jealous about this connection, but that's the red flag I'm getting. And you have super strong chemistry. So again, very sexy, very physical connection. And this person, they do want to support you. I think they are going to become part of your inner circle um, quite early on here, Virgo. Okay. So let's see. Any additional messages, advice, and guidance for my Virgos, please? Um, yeah, there's this mad... I'm hearing animal magnetism. So like, get ready. This is going to be super hot. There's this gravitational pull towards each other. I feel like you're not going to be able to keep your hands off of each other, Virgo. And Spirit's also saying, follow the path of ascension. So keep doing what you're doing. This is your connection. This is going to be, this is going to be pretty great. All right. Pretty sexy. So let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. Can we please get important dates for Virgo, please, regarding this new love connection coming their way? <clears throat> clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Virgos, please. So it could be as early as next week for some of you and next month. So it does look like it's coming, coming up pretty quickly, Virgos. And hopefully a lot of you know who this person already is, but some of you, you certainly may not. All right, my dear Virgos, I'm going to leave it here again. Thank you so much for all the love and support you show my channel. You have no idea how much it means to me. So take care. Have a beautiful day.